Hi everybody, on this episode I visit one of the fairy tale village La Terbrunnen in the Jungfrau region of Swiss Alps in the Bern canton of Switzerland. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and open notifications to be informed about new travel videos from all around the world. Lauterbrunnen is a village and municipality in the Interlaken Oberhasli administrative district in the canton of Bern in Switzerland. The village is located in the Lauterbrunnen Valley featuring rocky cliffs and the roaring 300 meter high Staubbach Falls. Similarly to Grindelwald, Lauterbrunnen has become a major tourist destination and is connected to Interlaken by the Bernese Oberland Railway and is the start of the Wengernalp Railway leading to Kleine Scheidegg. <music> Lauterbrunnen can be reached by 20 minutes train journey every 3 minutes from Interlaken. It usually takes around 37 minutes to travel to 10 km from Grindelwald to Lauterbrunnen by train. Lauterbrunnen is approximately 2 hours away from Zurich if you are planning to get there in your own car. Lauterbrunnen Valley is one of the most popular destinations in Switzerland, boosting glacial waterfalls, hiking trails, ski slopes, dramatic cliffs, and quiet villages. Lauterbrunnen is a U-shaped valley in the Alps with some of Switzerland's most magnificent views. This stunning destination is the gateway to the Jungfrau region and it's often referred to as the Valley of 72 Waterfalls. Lauterbrunnen was mentioned as in Claro Fonte in a letter dating from 1240. The scattered hamlet most likely received its name, which translates as Lau Springs or Lau Streams, due to the more than 70 waterfalls in the Lauterbrunnen Valley. The village of Lauterbrunnen in the canyon of Valley was the main colony of the Lostcher settlements in the highlands during the 14th century. When you arrive in Lauterbrunnen, it's an easy walk through the village to visit a number of different scenic viewpoints of the Staufbach waterfall, which is the Europe's highest free-falling waterfall. This picturesque village of Muren lies at the very end of the valley, filled with a traditional Swiss-style chalets and idyllic village life. The iconic yellow train ride from Lauterbrunnen to Wengen is a popular attraction for everyone visiting the valley, and I highly recommend adding it to your list of things to do. Arriving by the iconic yellow train, you will soon realize why Wengen village is one of the best places to see in Lauterbrunnen. Wengen to Manlihen hike is another one of the best things to do in Lauterbrunnen where an upward trail leaves from Wengen via the Eiger Ultra Trail. If you are a thrill seeker looking for the ultimate experience and the best views of the valley, the paragliding is one of the best things to do in the Lauterbrunnen. A day trip to Grindelwald is a must for any thrill seekers looking for adrenaline fueled activities in the region. Hiking from Scheinige Platte to First is one of the top rated things to do in Lauterbrunnen for active travelers. There are nearly 60 cycle routes dotted around this stunning region with something for every ability, ranging from the peaceful and relaxing to the hair rising and thrill seeking kind. Skydiving in Interlaken is one of the best experiences you can have and I guarantee you will remember it for a lifetime. Main street is the best street for shopping, although most of the hotels also have gift shops. Most of the stores specialize in sporting goods and ski equipments from prestigious high-tech manufacturers from around Europe and North America. 
Coop is a fairly large supermarket and stocks a similar range of products to a suburban supermarket, including fresh fruit and vegetables, meat and poultry, beer and wine, toiletries and cleaning products. Located in the center of the village, this Lauterbrunnen restaurant within the Hotel Oberland offers traditional European cuisine. Hotel Horner Pub located in the center of Lauterbrunnen Valley is a perfect stop at any time of the day when looking for where to eat in Lauterbrunnen. Situated right across from the train station, Bakary von Almen is one of the top favorite restaurants when looking for something quick and inexpensive. Built in the 1890s, Hotel Staupa was one of the first hotels in Lauterbrunnen. The charming historic and family-run Hotel Oberland in the center of Lauterbrunnen is only 5 minutes walk away from the train station. The Silberhorn Hotel in Lauterbrunnen is located off the main street, only 492 feet from the train station, providing access to the skiing and hiking areas. Budget accommodation will set you back around 35 euro per night for a dorm room in a hostel, while a mid-range hotel will cost you anywhere between 100 to 300 euro. A meal in a fairly priced restaurant will cost you average 30 euro per person, which includes a main dish and a drink, and you can expect to spend around 10-15 euro for a light breakfast and coffee. To sum up, the total cost per day will be around 100 euro for solo travelers, 200 to 300 euro per day for a couple, and approximately 500 euro daily for a family. The best time to visit Lauterbrunnen depends on what you plan to do. If you are an outdoorsy person looking for what to do in Lauterbrunnen village and are planning on cycling or hiking, then you will want to time your visit during summer. If you don't mind the cold, visiting in winter between December and March is absolutely magical because the mountains are completely covered in glistening white snow. Lauterbrunnen is remarkably quiet and peaceful even though it's a popular tourist magnet. Whether it's summer or winter or any season in between, Lauterbrunnen is gorgeous all year. It is one of the worth visiting locations around Jungfrau region in Switzerland. The Scheinige Platte is a small mountain ridge and a viewpoint in the Bernese Highlands which has a picturesque terrains and has lots of trails leading to the various spots. Thun is one of the most original towns in Switzerland with its picturesque castle and quiet medieval center is well worth a visit. Bern is a medieval city that features fountains, cobble streets, unique monuments and a well-preserved old town that has since been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Interlaken is a traditional resort town which is built on a narrow stretch of valley between the emerald-colored waters of Thun and Brienz lakes. Grindelwald, a village in Switzerland's Bernese Alps, is a popular gateway for the Jungfrau region with skiing in the winter and hiking in summer. Adelboden is a lovely little village which is known for the Adelboden Lang Ski Resort, which managed to attract countless skiers and snowboarders to the region. Kandersteg is a famous Swiss village with its hiking trails and skiing resorts which is nestled in the Seinic Valley in the Swiss Alps and located very close to Blausi and Ostinensi lakes. Iseltwald is a small fishing village that is situated on the edge of the Lake Brienz and famous photo spot with its picturesque castle inside the lake. 
Wengen is the quintessential alpine town boasting wooden chalets, modest whitewashed churches and Belle Epoque hotels surrounded by mountain pines. Whether you do or not skiing, Manlian offers a wide range of exciting experiences all year round. Lungern is a village and a popular photo spot with its picturesque turquoise colored natural lake and green landscape. The Harder Kulm is a viewpoint at 1322 meters which offers a spectacular panorama and sights with its famous restaurant at the top. Oberhofen is a popular touristic village on the shores of Lake Thun with its picturesque Oberhofen castle. Nestled between hills and vineyards and dominated by a magnificent castle, Spies on Lake Thun is an inviting destination indeed. Kleine Scheidegg is one of the most famous mountain passes in the Swiss Alps, both for its impressive views and ski resorts. Jungfraujo is the highest accessible point in Europe up to a staggering 3454 meter high thanks to its Centennial Railway which was inaugurated in 1912. If you like my Lauterbrunnen and Switzerland video I would like to see your likes, comments and subscription to my channel for the new travel videos from all around the world. See you. Oh,